What's going on guys? So we are still out here at Lux and taking a look at their showroom. Uh, this specific Lux Elite fifth wheel that you're looking at in front of you is massive. This thing is just a goliath of a custom fifth wheel. It's beautiful. Uh, pretty dang heavy too. This thing weighs 27,000 pounds fully loaded and it's going to transfer roughly 4,500 pounds to the back of your tow vehicle. So you need to have the right tow vehicle for something like this. Possibly more depending on how you load it up. And considering this has a heck of a solar pa package with it, uh, you got eight 100 amp hour batteries and on top you have eight 200 watt solar panels this thing is is absolutely insane very very cool again check out the video i did with the full interior exterior tour as well as all of the cool technology and upgrades and all the reasons why you might want to consider a lux um, when it comes to you know best of the best this is absolutely one of the best of the best fifth wheels you can buy but today's video is going to be about this right here this is super cool. This is a customized Ram 5500 truck. This started life as a chassis cab truck, and the folks from uh, Utility Body Works built this absolutely gorgeous hauler bed for the back of it with all sorts of really, really nice storage compartments. They put the trailer saver by Hensley hitch in the back. This thing is a 5,000 pound uh, tongue weight capacity or pin weight capacity and a 32,000 pound towing capacity. When you look at a truck like this, uh, the door sticker doesn't tell the whole story. It's got a 19,500 pound uh, gross vehicle weight rating, which means the cargo capacity on a truck like this is gonna be like 7,500 to 8,000 pounds. This thing's gonna be able to handle a lot of weight. Um, and the cool thing about a truck like this is once you get it equipped the way that this company equips it, you're gonna get some really, really cool upgraded features like air suspension, uh, a lot of modifications that you typically would only see on like over the road trucks or medium duty trucks. So that's really cool. So first of all, starting up front, you can tell that this has the limited package, which is absolutely awesome. You can tell by that kind of meshed grill that it has on it, as well as the uh, LED headlights, LED turn signals, LED floodlights. This is, or fog lights. Absolutely a beautiful setup. 19 and a half inch Alcoa wheels. The tires on this are hand cooked tires but they are gonna be uh, G-rated tires or higher because this again is a, this truck is built off of a heavy duty chassis or at least a heavy duty pickup truck chassis but a medium duty truck chassis if that makes sense. This thing is, is definitely well above what your typical three quarter ton or one ton is capable of. This has a full upgraded suspension system. So check that out. That's Kelderman suspension by the way. So this has Kelderman airbags up front and in the back so you can adjust the height of this truck if you need to. Uh, which is really great for for leveling out a load if you're going to be hauling something like this Lux fifth wheel. As you can see, this is the limited package. has the Cummins diesel engine. This is a D-rated engine, so this specific engine is going to have a little less horsepower and torque than the traditional dually pickup truck that you would buy. All right, let's take a look inside of this truck real quick. First of all, they got some LED lights kind of running down this area right here. Looking at the door sticker. So your rear axle rating is 13,500 pounds. Front axle rating is 7,000 pounds with a gross vehicle weight rating of 19,500 pounds. Again, this is a limited trim truck. So you're gonna get all of the really fancy special treatment from Ram in terms of, you know, the wood inlay, power memory seats. And it's really cool that Ram offers a chassis cab truck in a limited configuration. Because when you look at Ford, the highest I believe you can go up to is a Lariat, unless they're making changes for 23 and 24 that I'm not aware of. Um, but yeah, with Ram, you can get a limited trim even in a chassis cab configuration, which is awesome. And a chassis cab configuration, for those of you who aren't aware, is a non-pickup truck configuration. It's basically straight frame rails that come out past the cab so you can upfit it. You can put things like this on the back of it or utility beds or things like that. You can do all sorts of crazy things. You could turn this into a tow truck if you wanted to because it doesn't have those twisted, bended frame rails that you typically see in the back of pickup trucks. Again, this is a straight frame coming off the back. Beautiful truck got that 12 inch Uconnect screen in here as well. Again, this is very similar to what most, you know, limited pickup trucks are gonna look like from Ram in terms of their heavy duty lineup. I like the fact that they give you the, the six auxiliary upfitter switches there as well. Center console area, again, everything in here is the limited trim. So, you know, all the limited heavy duty trucks I've shown you, this is gonna have all those same features. 
Very cool. No sunroof, which I actually really like that there's no sunroof. Okay, stepping in the back area. Again, beautiful. Great job with this setup. I wonder if this truck is sold. I could see why. I don't know what the price on this thing is. I know what the base price is based off of here. So if you want to get a 5500 chassis cab, 22 model, crew cab, truck, four-wheel drive, $97,190. Um, this is going to be a lot more than that because the way it's been upfitted and what's been done to this truck is definitely going to be more than that. And I could imagine that the work that goes into this truck takes some time. So even if they got this truck in 22, it could still be brand new because the amount of time it takes to actually upfit the truck and get it with all the, uh, the equipment that it needs inside of it. Awesome. I love the fact that Ram offers the wide track front axles on these trucks. I wish they offered it on a Ram 3500, to be honest with you, a dually, because it's such a cool setup on a pickup truck. And I know some people have converted these into pickup trucks, but that extra turning angle you get with a wide track front suspension is really game changing, especially if you're trying to maneuver a big heavy fifth wheel like that. Now, the reason why somebody would want a truck like this over a traditional dually is for payload. That's really what it comes down to. You're gonna have thicker frame rails, you're gonna have a truck that's designed to carry more weight. That's really the ultimate thing. We know that even your your you know standard dually pickup trucks can tow a lot of weight. But the limitation is typically gonna be that class three designation where the gross vehicle weight rating isn't gonna exceed 14,000 pounds. With a truck like this, with a 19,500 pound gross vehicle weight rating, uh, you know, this is designed to carry roughly 5,500 pounds more in terms of weight than a dually, than your typical, you know, 3,500 dually. And that's the important part to understand about a truck like this is that these are designed for payload capacity and towing. The towing numbers are typically gonna be a little bit derated versus you know, like your typical 3,500 dually. So you might have like a 30,000 pound towing capacity versus like a 36,000 pound towing capacity. But what you gain is payload capacity and you gain a lot of it. And you need that payload capacity to be able to handle this type of weight because you're going to have again upwards of 4,500 pounds worth of weight resting on a on the back of a truck like this and when utility body works puts their their kind of custom flair to it you have a lot of really really great storage options it's basically like a toolbox on the back of your truck that gives you access to just really crazy crazy amount of utility if you're going to be towing, great place to put hitches, great place to put recovery straps, tools, things like that. And this is all really, really heavy duty material. So you're not buying cheap stuff. And again, adding something like this to the back of your truck is also going to add weight. And that weight is something you need to have a truck that is capable of handling. And that weight is going to come off your gross vehicle weight rating and your payload capacity. So that's also what you have to figure in. It's not just the weight of the hitch. And because of that, the truck has to be able to handle it. I love that they put the step right there too so you can easily reach into some of those center console or center storage areas as well. Got the headache rack over it, all the LED lighting. This truck is absolutely gorgeous. But I'd love to know what your opinion is. What do you think of a truck like this? I know some folks think, well, if you're gonna pay that much, you might as well move to like a Peterbilt or a Volvo or a Freightliner. But here's the difference. This will get into a lot of places and it's more manageable for everyday driving when you're not towing your giant fifth wheel. Uh, some of those big trucks, they're cool, they're super awesome, and I know some people will disagree with me, but you can't take them through a drive through You know, you can't park them in a normal parking spot, you know, with a bunch of cars around you because of the overall width. And I understand that the back of this truck is going to be pretty wide, but it's still going to be about five or six inches narrower in the back than most of your semi trucks. And up front, it's going to be significantly narrower from a cab perspective. So getting in and out of the truck, uh, climbing in and out of the truck, as well as parking the truck and using the truck every day when you're not towing is a huge reason to look at something like this. But anyways, um, the folks over here at uh, Utility Body Works, they actually put this thing together. A super, super cool setup. And Honestly, I could see myself with something like this. What do you guys think? Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.